All right, take a look at what Robbie Ray and Jay Happ did. Both of their teams won. Jay Happ did not figure in the decision, but he was very good. Look at what Robbie Ray did in six and a third innings. Struck out ten, walked just two. Jay Happ strike out, struck out five. He walked just one. So let's send it over to Mark and our lefty, <laughs> Al Leiter, who's going to kind of break down it. Does this what, actually work? Yes. Point of contact. So, so, Al, let me ask you this. What worked for these lefties, specifically Ray and Hap, and what worked for you? Yeah, I, it's exactly where I'm going. So you can jump right off Roflo's question. For me, these guys scream. They jumped off the – not Lester, last night. These two, because right out of the shoot, he established hard in. And that's always been his M.O. And I grew up with Tom Glavin, who show in and get back outside. My Mr. thing Leo to Mazzoli. you, exactly, my, what, the risk-reward of consistently pummeling fastballs in, it just, to me, explain why you take that consistent chance night in, night out of establishing that inner part of the plate to a right-handed hitter. I think Lester goes about it a little bit differently with more of a cutter. Okay, so here, let me yeah, I'm break it ask down. You. These guys are right in your wheelhouse. Right, there's, there's the picture of the camera. You can go to that. Give it yeah. to me. All right, so just broad stroke. Wait, hold on. Broad stroke. Left-handed pitchers generally pitch which way? What is Away. There? Away. Yeah. Show in, get back out away. And why do you think that's the Because case? it's hard to beat somebody opposite field for, for damage. Yeah, that's true. But here. What do you mean, eh? That's eh. the answer. Here, so keep, keep, <laughs> can you give me that shot? Not many guys yeah. can rush right, so here, so what, 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 field. what, what, what. Dero just said is true. For the most part, the camera right now is the pitcher, right? So for the most part, the, the left-handed arm is coming from here, right? From the first base side. So the danger zone, if you're not good at it, is here. Yep. Ideally, I want to throw the ball here or here or here to give you that illusion because now the ball's coming from outside of here and it's coming from the first base side and it's boring in, right? It's considered dangerous, and generally speaking, left-handed pitchers, a little goofy, were taught two-seam, give that two-seam action away. So the majority of the lefties that you've seen in your career predominantly pitched here. Here, I'm going to go through. Yep. I don't have three balls. Here, 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 or here. And then ideally, if you can get a guy to expand here. And then he started changing it for me. Him, Cole Hamill, same thing, both of them. We're the one, ooh, why are you trying to rush me in? Yes. And the reason why it's effective is because it's unusual. The reason why most lefties don't do it, because it's dangerous. It is very so there's dangerous. A so how line. many pitches do you think over the course of 100 during a, a start did you try and come in and miss over? Did me? Me? Yeah, middle third. Oh, forget about it. Quite if, a few. I threw. I threw. So what's the risk reward? Threw, they were dominant last If I night. had 100 pitches, Dero, 70, 70 of them were somewhere over here. Yeah. Right here. Let's go to the tape. Yeah, dive in on it. So we can he, get a chance to see awesome, this. Lester. I'm with you on Jay Happ. I really like it. And I put Lester in this because Lester started throwing more cutters and maybe a little bit less here. All right, so this is just first batter general, of the game. General rip, first batter of the game. If you look at what he's trying to do here. That's a ball. You're trying to establish, you. if you look at where Sanchez is setting up inside, the reason why it's so effective, and you get little half swings like that from Chapman, is stop right there, please. Back up. Racket back. You right, want to go to here. Oh, okay. So here, I'm just going to give you a couple reasons that I was I was a guy that stood on this side of the, of the rubber, like we'll see with Robbie Ray, and Jay Happ is on the third base side. This has a lot to do with a lot of things, folks. It's a 24-inch rubber. You have a 17-inch plate. Take advantage of that release point window for a hitter to have the perception of where the ball is going to come. Now, if you come out of here, this is Jay Happ. He's trying to go away here. Go ahead and at release... Lucas, stop at release point. Keep going. Stop. Back up. Just right at release. Stop. Good. Okay. Right. So he's coming from the third base side, and he's throwing in this window, right? So his perception is is going to be on plate or on the in the zone longer as a result of his positioning, as opposed to being on the third on the first base side and being off the plate. Away. All right. Go, so go ahead and play this right here. Gary Sanchez away. He nails it. Even there, stop right there. Is this Davis? Yeah. yeah. If you saw what he's trying to do, and he's trying to turn and burn, right? So he got 40 homers? But he doesn't turn and burn. Like, he keeps his shoulders square. So even if the hip flies a little bit, the upper half stays square, and he's able to rush you to right First center. First pitch strike. I saw a guy that was leaking for a strike, called strike. Go ahead. Gary Sanchez. This is another thing. Stop. 
This is the most important thing, and I see so many games. I used to tell my catcher, Mike Piazza, get in there. If this is a dangerous location, which it is, you have a left-hander throwing 91. We're in a day and age where everybody's throwing 98. He's throwing 91, blowing people up. Blowing them up. So here, this is beautiful right here. Gary Sanchez is trusting the fact that this guy believes in this pitch. Don't give me a glove here or here. He's way inside, get folks. In. So now, even if it's a ball, go ahead and play it. Lucas. So what, right? Missed, but now he's stuck. Stuck. Oh, he's beat. So now, so here, what do we see? We saw 91 here. He, he got a, 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 got a head. Head strike here. Yep. 91 here. He's going, damn, that was in there pretty good. He missed here at 92. Foul ball. And now look at this. Go ahead, go ahead and play this. Look at that fight. Look at that fight. That is perfect. That is perfect. Perfect location. And you got now again. What it are we was, thinking about this? All night. This whole starting of relievers are starting. Get out of here! Stop this right guy's there. chucking 97. All right, so team. now we got a different view out here. Robbie Ray, go ahead. Now let's do the same thing, Lucas. Let me see. Stop. Okay, so unlike Jay Happ, this is what I did. Yeah. First and I first wanted side. the illusion because I was coming from. You wanted to carry the plate longer. All right, your home plate. Could you go there? Or you, you're now home plate. I wanted to be on this side of the pitcher's rubber. So when I, the ball came out of my hand, right handed hitter there, your home plate, the, the camera is. I wanted that ball to look like it was going to be on the plate, but it eventually was going to cut off the plate and it was going to come inside. That's exactly what I wanted to do. That's why with Robbie Ray, go ahead and play it. And uh, Lucas, stop at release, please. Keep going. He's an elbow picker. Stop. Uh, he's in a good, good spot. Okay. So here. So go at release. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Right at ball release. Stop. Bye bye. Back. Yeah, good. Okay. <laughs> so who we have this? Urias. Look at this. Who's catching here? Help me. This John is Ryan Murphy. This is beautiful. Get in there. Get in. I want to miss. I don't want to miss here or here. I want to miss here, 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 or even here. This is my miss. Because guess what? It's going to make this hitter go, oh my God, that felt and smelled hard. And now it opens up this. Go ahead. Now, that first one, that was more inner third. Six, bang. And then that's just pain. This that is little so, cut on it's it. so unusual, and I love it. And I'm glad you, you brought this up because this is, this is why I, I think. I just, okay, rack that back. Rack that back. It's 0-1. It's a nothing-nothing game. I know you're in the first inning, but show me that, show me that 0-1 pitch. Run it. Bang. All right. Takes it. That's a ball, but he gives it to him. Right here. Pause that. That's a risky pitch for me. If you, I mean, he's all over that, and you're consistently, that's all I'm saying. The risk reward of every night thinking you're going to locate in here, because if you miss here in the wrong spot, it's 3 nothing. You don't get it back. Sorry, and I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why I don't. I don't agree with you because I that's made. The way, I made. Know, I made a, a Braves way. I made a think. career of. I doing know this. you did. But I also had a cutter that was almost as fast as my fastball. Oof, you're telling me he's not on that. Okay, so guess he's what? All Play this. Over that. Tell me the next pitch. Uh, if that was all over it, then come right here. Go ahead, next pitch. Okay, that's he threw filled. the curveball. That's filtered. He threw the breaking ball, yeah. right? Because it's open up, open up. I, I'm moment. almost there, and I opened up. Johnny Lester, love him. Stud, cowboy. Watch here. He still comes inside. Now, this is good. Stop right here. or Go to the next pitch. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. All right. So, so now think of this. This guy, when he first got called up, was a 93 to 90. I faced him his first big league start what, in Fenway. What was he throwing? He, he wanted to come in. He, he no, was he, velocity. Yeah, 94, 95. Look at this right here. We got two pitches. I don't know who that pitch hitter is. Scott Kingery. Kingery, thank you. So here it is inside. He wants to go elevate. Go ahead. Assuming that's Contreras. But little jam shot. Now stop right there. Just think of the mindset. Look at the mindset of, of Scott Kingry or any I other. I gotta right get him out of there. I that's, gotta get him out of there. This is right here. It's 8990. In this day and age, that's not gas. Yeah. But he got it on him. Guess yep. what he does right here? Pull the string right here, Johnny Lester. I didn't even see this video. It's telling me right now, you got a dope back door. He went back to Oh, door cutter. little cut. Here, back that up, back that up. Real quick. All right, so let's go back here. Johnny Lester, old school. Lefties were on the left side. Righties were on the right side. He's still on the on the third base side. I'm a believer of that because I want the ball that looks on like a first strike. First base side. I'm sorry, first base side. I said left okay. side. Go ahead. This is a cutter that he makes mistake in the zone, and the guy gives up. Such filthy movement. Though. But it moved. It moved. So his fastball is 89, 90, 91, 
and that's a nice little cut that's, that started here and ended up going here. Great, great sequence, and I think it is so important. If, and here, I never got to the point. These guys, <laughs> row flow, be quiet. These guys, like me, had so, sees success. I see good results here, for the most part. You yeah. had a spin on me. You spun on me. You hit a home run at Shea Stadium, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, you got to it. You got to it. But no guess, big deal. But guess what? I, I have success here. These guys have success here. So when they have the catcher in here, pop, pop, it's a ball. I don't care. I'm setting you up for when I do this. Most of the pitchers today are afraid of this. Hey, I don't want to hit them. I'm going to get thrown out of the game, all this. Pound in there. I think for me, what I, what I learned from it is is – you get into auto swing mode. When these guys are on the attack inside, you lose kind of the perception of where the inside part of the plate is. And you're so concerned with, I used to tell myself, I got to get Cole Hamels out of here. I got to get John Lester out of here so he does something different. No, I'm playing right into his hands where 01, 02, and now it opens up anything. It was just a different mindset watching these guys last night just pound in, 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 in from everything I was born and raised with the Atlanta Braves. Don't get. Don't get beat in. Get beat away. Let a guy take you oppo. And it was I always tell a story real quick. First time I ever I ever hit against Al Leiter in Shea Stadium, Chipper Jones is like, you have to stay in there. He's going to throw a cutter, and you can't lose your toehold. Get in there. Give me the baseball. I'll never forget it. <laughs> and I'm there. I'm like, I ain't going anywhere. And I went, boom, boom. And I swear, his cutter <laughs> went like this, and it, it nipped my nose. Like, the umpire didn't even see it. I'm like, oh, my God, that's on top of me. <laughs> <laughs> he did the matrix. Rope low. He burnt my nose.